Okay guys, so this is a brief intro to the um, locations sort of video segments. Um, I've located most, if not all, of the locations from the film, which I shall show you in videos over the coming weeks and months. Um, the ones that I haven't are quite simply because they don't exist anymore. Um, so Mrs. Flood's apartments, which were um, Brady Street dwellings, they've been demolished. Um, the sanitarium that Julie visit, uh, Julia visits uh, Mrs. Rudge at, that appears to have been demolished. But the lofting house, Julia's house, the hospital, um, Holland Park, um, Mark's antique shop, um, those uh, do still exist. Um, and so I will show you videos of those over the sort of coming months. Um, the first video segment is um, trailing around Holland Park. Um, the other reason I wanted to do uh, this little snippet before is because I made an absolutely shocking mistake in the Holland Park video and I hang my head in shame for that. I think I'd been sort of fried by the fact that a cleaner came out of the house that I was filming outside and wanted to know what I was doing. Um, so I ended up saying that Mark describes um, who lived previously in the house as Zsa Zsa Gabor. I have absolutely no idea where I got that name from. Obviously he says Mae West um, when he's in the bathroom. Um, I've no idea why I said Zsa Zsa Gabor to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so please accept my humble apologies for that shocking error. Um, I admonished myself considerably when I played the video back and realised what I said. But anyway, um, hope you enjoy these locations. They're all there in London. So if you're over in London, if you want to get in touch with me, I can certainly take you to these places, show you where they are. Um, and hopefully if the film ever does get released on Blu-ray, which we're pushing and edging towards, that um, we can do some sort of location video to sort of show these places as they were then and how they look now. Because a lot of them... Um, Greta Braden's house, for example, looks identical then um, as it as it does now. Okay, so enjoy these videos, guys, and uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Okay, guys, well, I'm hoping you can hear me. This is the start of my full circle locations um, hunt, and what better way to start than the pivotal location of the film, which is Julia Lofting's house. So here I am in Holland Park in West London, and if I just pan around the street here, you can see this is number three, Holland Park, which as you can see is quite clearly Mia Farrow or Julia Lofting's house in the film. Um, there's quite a lot of traffic going by, so I hope you can hear me. Um, I've just had a, quite a nice chat with the cleaner of this house um, and showed her the scene from the film where Nigel Havers is selling her the house uh, just to prove I was legit because she seemed a bit suspicious. Um, so yeah, this is the house. This is the house. Now, the interesting thing with this is that when I spoke to Peter Hannan, um, he suggested that quite a lot of the filming of the internal scenes of the house were filmed elsewhere. And indeed, there is another house that I'll show later, um, 10 Kensington Court in another video, um, where a lot of the internal scenes were filmed. But equally, quite a lot were, was actually filmed in this house, despite what Peter Hannan says. And a way to prove that is if you remember um, early on in the film, there is a scene where um, Julia is showing Mark Tom Conti around the house uh, with the whole who lived here before you, you know, Jar Jar Gabor and are you growing orchids in here? Um, Mia looks out of the window um, and sees kids playing on the street opposite. Now, when she looks out of the window, the house opposite is number 31. Now, if you pan up, there's the window up there that she looks out of. And if we pan around, we can see on the other side of the street, that house by there is number 31, because we can see number 32 is next to it. Hence, the scene that was filmed with Mia looking out of the window, she cries, doesn't she? Has to have been filmed on the top floor of that house in order to get number 31 opposite with the kids playing on a sort of um, go-kart trolley sort of thing, aren't they? Okay, so right, we'll move on because just literally up the road past this van is the entrance to Holland Park where quite a lot of the action in the film took place as well. So I'll just pause the video and I'll rejoin you in a second.